Not my proudest moment on your morning show. The moment where you look back and go, eh, 877-995-4681 to call. I will give you uh, an example. Maybe at uh, one point I was a 14-year-old boy, and there was this really cute girl I was trying to impress. So I went to the Mall of America to the uh, Godiva chocolate uh, store, which I think is still a thing. Where it's yeah, like, they're it's still like a, yummy. And I got her a teddy bear, very cute, with a heart box around its neck filled with chocolate. Uh-huh. And your boy thought the heart was a little bit too much, so he took the box off, ate the chocolate himself, and gave her the bear. And my mom pointed out, you know she's going to know there was chocolate there. It's from Godiva. Yeah. And it didn't work out. But I thought, the heart, I thought the heart was too much, so I was like, eh, I'll just take the chocolate You myself. can't give her a chocolate bear minus the chocolate. Well, lesson learned. Uh, do you have one, uh, Riley, quickly? Mine's a little bit worse, the public walk of shame that I did one time. Okay. So, yeah, I did the, the, the club and stay over the night thing nice. with a guy, and I wore... Hooker pumps, as I call them, because they were bright pink. And you know the club outfits aren't for brunch the next day. Sure. Well, he was like, just stay. Come to brunch with me. I show up to brunch, and a bunch of his work clients were there. Uh, and I look like a complete hooch. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Not your proudest moment. Not at all. But you've, you've moved on since then. You Thank I mean? God. Let me go. Uh, Molly in Baltimore. Good morning. Molly, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Okay, so not my proudest moment. What happened? So I was in college having some fun adult beverages with my roommate. Sure. And my one roommate stayed sober, and I got to the point where I felt like I maybe was going to be sick. So she told me that dogs, when they want to throw up, go outside and eat grass, and maybe I should try it. Oh, so my I God. Ran outside and I ran outside in the middle of winter and got down on all fours and took a giant <laughs> chomp out of gr- uh, the grass on the ground. Oh, my God. And, no. And it was not great. <laughs> yeah, no. You um, think? Oh, my. Let me uh, th- th- so many questions, Molly. Uh, is there video or photos of this around? No, unfortunately, only my sober roommate was there. Yeah. He ran out with me and was just laughing but didn't take any pictures. <laughs> uh, uh, side note, did you, have you gotten COVID yet? Yes, I did have COVID. I was going to say, because maybe if you didn't, like, that'd be a sign of, like, just eat grass in college and be good to go. No, okay. apparently not. <laughs> okay, Molly, hold on one second. You're in the running. That That is, like, oh, that is so good. Let me go. Um, oh, man. AJ, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Not my proudest moment. What happened? So, about a year ago, I caught my ex cheating, and I was, like, stalking his Twitter, and I found out he had an OnlyFans. Oh. Oh, so I- uh, screen recorded his OnlyFans and sent it to his mother. So, um, and, uh, <laughs> oh okay. God. So, how did you Savage. find out he had an OnlyFans? Like, I scrolled all the way back through and I saw a link, so I clicked it and it went to his straight to his OnlyFans. And so, his OnlyFans, like, what was and as PG as possible? What was on the OnlyFans? All these pictures of him and videos. Wait. Was it just him by himself, or was he with other people? No, just him by himself. Did, now, let me ask you, did you like his mom, or did you get some satisfaction being like, yeah, look how dumb your son is? No, I just had it to her. I didn't even get to know her because it didn't even last that long. Mm. He cheated like five days in the relationship. Mm, well, at least, well, then why mama not? needs to get him. Hell yeah. Mama needs to go get him. And at least he looked out for you. That's the most important. AJ, hold on one second, you were in the running. I, that is like a, <sighs> to send to the mom, though. I mean, Yeah, I, that's listen, savage. No, no judgment here. Let me go uh, to Fall Church. We go. Madeline, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that this is for your sister makes it even better. Uh, not my proudest moment, Madeline. What happened? So I was the uh, maid of honor at my sister's wedding back in July. After I did my speech, I said, all right, time to drink, and um, got a little too drunk, drank an espresso martini, and then on the bus ride back, threw up right in the middle of the like walkway on the way, and everybody like behind me had to hop over it when they got oh. off the bus. And uh, got charged two hundred fifty dollars for the cleanup fee, and the uh, company sent it a picture of the vomit uh, to like unsolicited picture of it uh, just in my email. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! My, this wait, is like a little puke in a bus for sure. Is, is your sister still married? Oh yeah, she is. Okay, She's very god. happy. She thinks it's funny at this point, but um, <laughs> yeah. It, definitely not my proudest moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you know, those espresso martinis, those sneak up on you. Like, yeah, those they have you, They'll have you feeling really good for a little bit. I thought it was going to wake me up, and then all of a sudden, I was not okay. <laughs> no. Oh, it well, did, that's, just uh, in a different way, through your stomach. Yeah, that's so funny. Mm. I, mean, and I, I don't mean to uh, judge Madeline, but when, when you did puke, was the family like, oh, of course. Listen, it's Hillary's big day, and there's Madeline again being irresponsible. You know, I'm actually usually the responsible one, so everybody was pretty shocked. 
shocked when it was me. <laughs> but in that case, though, and they're still together. Yeah, That's all that it matters. Worked out. Okay. All's well that ends yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> For now, at least. Madeline, hold on one second. You are in the running. Fake name, Rebecca. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So you're uh, not my proudest moment. What happened? Um, so a few years ago, I was in law school, and I was clerking for a judge. Um, so the night before I went out, I had a few too many margaritas. I ended up making it to court the next morning, but I only made it a couple hours, and my judge could tell I was not feeling well. So he was like, are you good? Like, do you have to go? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I got to go. So... <laughs> So I ended up making it to the parking garage, and immediately once I got in my car, I threw up all over myself. And I had to sit 45 minutes in my throw up on on the way home, and one of the court deputies was there and saw it happen. So. Oh, oh my that, God. That, that is like... Woo! <laughs> that's the moment that you really know, like that there's, Yeah, that, that's a... That's a tough putt, oh, as we gosh. say. Ewy. Rebecca, hold on one second. You were in the running, especially because two, like... If you're in you, traffic and traffic, what you are you gonna do? Do anything? Nothing. You can't you sit you, there and yeah. smell it. You can't go and buy uh, stuff somewhere else because then people like, are gonna wipe know. off with no. baby wipes. Maybe I don't know. Uh, by the way, you can text your favorite one nine nine three three. Let me go. Fake name Lisa. Good morning. Hello, fake name Lisa. Are you there? You are in voice change. What is uh, not my proudest moment? So at our old job I used to work at, I had a supervisor, and me and him used to flirt all the time. Nice. But he was engaged. Oh. Unfortunately, and I came out of a breakup, and me and him did what we weren't supposed to do. Stole from the company? No. (laughs) No, we, me and him, we did it. Got it. Yeah. So, yeah, and he was engaged, and we had way too much to drink, and it only happened one time, but it was so sloppy and so embarrassing, and I had to work there for like another three years, so every time I saw him, I was just completely embarrassed yeah i'm really disappointed in myself the fact that i knew he had i mean we all have those embarrassing moments right like uh, how did the drink is do we drink at work where do y'all get the drinks at um this wasn't at work he was just somebody i worked with gotcha okay okay somewhere else listen this is a is the circle of trust this is a this is a safe space a fake name lisa hall one second you are in the running there's a (laughs) there's a lot of text a lot of college text uh, drank uh, too much freshman year college, uh, allegedly, by the way, because right. you should only drink when you're 21. Otherwise, it doesn't taste good anyway. Uh, <laughs> threw up in a trash can that had holes in it. You like those ones? Ew. like <laughs> With no bag in it, so it just oh, oosed everywhere. Oh. There's a huh? lot of text coming in to vote. I think the, the overwhelming vote's going for Madeline. Good mo- Madeline? Hello? Tell your sister you just won Dua Lipa tickets for ruining her wedding. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And if you ever happen to see Dua Lipa on the streets, perfect icebreaker. Absolutely. Hey, I oh, throw yeah, up my perfect. sister's wedding. Perfect. Madeline, I'm going to put you on hold. We'll get your info, okay? Thank you so much. Hold on one second.